Hey, how are you guys? This video is about COSC and why even bother, okay? Cost certified, cost certification, you know, timing for accuracy <clears throat> in all these different positions. Um, get your chronometer certificate. <clears throat> After being around the watch world for so long and, and you know, having different watches and buying them brand new, buying them used, COSC is just a marketing gimmick. It's just, you know, so they can sell the watch. It's It makes you feel all warm and fuzzy that you have something special above any other watch, okay? And there's a lot of brands that don't even bother with this just due to the fact that it doesn't even matter, okay? <clears throat> the reason why it doesn't matter <clears throat> is, let's say my Rolex Datejust, for instance. That was, when I bought it, it was like, I don't know, plus seven seconds a day. It was like right at the cusp of their standards or, or maybe exceeded their standards, whatever it was. So I had it regulated. Now it's like plus one a day, okay? Here's another one. Tudor, Black Bay, bought it. It was not chronometer certified, okay? <clears throat> it's the burgundy uh, bezel one. It um, was uh, slow one second a day, okay? So... <clears throat> Now, am I, is that just luck or what? I've heard, read a lot of times that's how those tutors are, about you know negative one a day, plus one a day. They're really, and that's on a 28, 24 modified movement. So they're getting really close on that. So what's the difference on that watch and my Datejust? Now you have the Omega Seamaster 300 ceramic, which I had, and that was all over the board. It was like positive, you know, eight seconds, uh, nine seconds. I sent it to Omega a bunch of different times to have it regulated. They could never get it where I wanted it. So why? And then you buy an Orient, and the Orient is, um, you know, this thing's been just as accurate. This this ray has, too has been just as accurate as my day just, and I have not adjusted anything. Um, so what's the difference? Why do you need cost? Why do you need that certificate? Why do you need to feel all warm and fuzzy? It's just bullshit. It just, you know, this technology or not, I wouldn't say technology. I would say this testing, um, the certification, that's all back, you know, 50 years ago, you know, back when it mattered, when, when they needed it, you know, back, it was actually before that. But uh, nowadays, it doesn't matter. It has no, it, it, it really has no bearing on anything. It doesn't mean anything. And that's why, you know, Omega has this Meta's uh, shit that they're doing now um, to try to bring out another, uh, a whole other almighty oh certification of, of timekeeping, which really probably doesn't even matter anyway. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, just some of my thoughts on that. It's just got me thinking about accuracy again. You know, you know I post a lot about accuracy. <clears throat> which accuracy, if we're all into watches, should be a really important thing to you. Um, <clears throat> some people it isn't. They don't care. They just slap it on. Oh, man, I gained a minute in a week. Oh, well. Oh, well. But um, not me. But um, anyway, <clears throat> put your comments below. Let me know what you think about uh, COSC, if it even matters or not. To me, it doesn't anymore. It used to. It doesn't anymore. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much. You guys, please subscribe. I'm over 300 subscribers still. I appreciate it. Um, you guys are awesome. I got a great, uh, great uh, viewer base. Um, I try to get back to everybody as fast as I can. Um, please subscribe and leave some comments. Thank you very much. You guys take care. Bye.